This week, we continue our camper van adventure around Maui with a whale watching tour, an epic camping spot on the road to Hana, and Kate goes spelunking. So I was thinking with the rain today, why don't we find a spot to work and then we can play tomorrow? Sounds good. Okay. Awesome sunset. Pretty awesome coffee. <laughs> Look at the clouds over here. care where you are in the world, five o'clock in the morning is still early. It's gonna be worth it. I hope so. I can't wait to see the humpback whales up close in person. And the sunrise. Oh, yeah, that too. I they, guess that comes along with getting up early, right? They don't call it the sunrise whale watch for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make some coffee. Of course you are. Yep. Looks like one of the clearest days so far that we've been here. Quite a few whales out today. There's a mom and baby whale out here this morning. It's pretty amazing to watch them. This mom is coming down because the water is so clear here. So their eyesight is not the best sense that they have. Uh, so this clear water down here is an excellent way for that mom to keep an extra eye on her young. Listen to these whales. So while they are down here in the breeding grounds, they do sing a song. It was. I couldn't have asked for a better whale watching experience. And the sunrise tour is definitely the way to go. Highlight of my trip to Maui. It literally was like whale soup out there. Well, let's see what else Maui has to offer. All right, let's go. After talking to all the locals at Maui, they said, best bet is to get food at Costco. Otherwise, prepare to pay hurt me prices. Hurt me prices. We don't want hurt me prices. No. I love checking out Costco's all over the country because they usually have local items that you don't find at other Costco's. What are these things? They're giant shrimp chips. These are made in Honolulu. Taro and sweet potato chips. It's way too cold in that chiller for me, so Kate's going inside to grab all the vegetables. Fridge is fully stocked. What all is in there now? We've got broccoli, celery, hummus, locally grown hydroponic butter lettuce, and locally grown mushrooms. And fish. And we got some ono, which is wahoo, so we can do some uh, fish bowls. I like it. Okay. All right. Let's get on the road. So we're gonna head to Hana and go to Haleakala National Park. But first stop, cheapest gas on the island, Costco. And you can tell by the lines, 
everyone else knows that too. Yes. We are on the road to Hana, and I think what we're going to try to do is find a campground along the way or a place to park where we can stop because we are getting a bit of a late start today. It's already 2 p.m. And just to get to Hana, I think it's like two, two and a half hours. I'll have to figure it out. Just wing it. <laughs> how we like to roll. All right, let's see what the Maui Revealed Guidebook says about the Hana Highway. The first half of the drive is more tightly enclosed by vegetation, so you won't get too many expansive views. A series of roads and trails lead to Twin Falls. People tend to spend too much time here because it's the first available falls. You might wait for the nicer, less mopped waterfalls later. I say we wait for later. Sounds good. I'm not gonna lie, this road is a quite bit, a bit fun. It's a bit nerve wracking for me. Joe's having a good time. There are a lot of turns. It's a narrow road. And we're just back and forth and there's a lot of traffic. So I'm very happy he's driving. Van life in a rainforest. This drive reminds me of the time we spent in Costa Rica. Quite a bit. Except these roads are a lot nicer. For now. Don't jinx us. <laughs> Ready for a trail hike in the rainforest. Let's do it. It's amazing how we went from like almost perfectly clear skies to rainforest in what, half an hour, 40 minutes? Mm -hmm, if that. There are chickens everywhere on Maui. Yes. I did not expect to find one on this trail and there it is. Just hanging out. All right, which trail, right or left? Let's go right. We can do the short loop and do the other one if we want to. Okay, I'm good with that. That's kind of funny. The trees are at work. There's some big ones. It's beautiful back in here. Yeah, quite beautiful. Not what I expected on the trail. No, there are a lot of down trees. My feet are going to be covered in mud by the time we're done. I like your choice of footwear. A little mud cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> got a few mosquito bites too. Interesting trail. Yep, I've got mosquito bites all over my leg, but Me too. it's worth it. <laughs> go find a waterfall this time. Well, you said it was a little waterfall, right? That's what the guidebook says, but okay. it also rained yesterday, so maybe it's a little bigger today. True. I have to say, with the lack of cell signal, I'm so happy to have that Maui Revealed guide. Oh, that is like the Alaska mile by mile guide. You have to have that thing coming through here or else you'd never know what was in the forest. You see it? I see it. That's pretty. Thank you so much for driving us. You're very welcome. I've been enjoying it, although it is a bit uh, white knuckle here and there. The road to Hana, well worth it. Yes. I feel like there was a call made that we were like parked here. So he said he was coming over to check us out. <laughs> Had to make sure we were okay. Seemed like a nice guy. He could be uh, leading us astray, but I'm, I'm willing to go check it out. Looks pretty nice. Found an awesome camping spot from the locals. Thank God for cool locals. camping spot so far on Maui. Yes, but I will warn you, uh, if you come out to a spot like this, don't, 
camp here unless invited by a local. Someone checked on us last night and we uh, dropped the name of our friend who showed us this spot. We were told it was okay, but before that they weren't too happy we were here. There are some great waves out there, but man, I would not want to get washed into these rocks. Back on the road to Hana. I'm glad we split up the drive though, because yesterday it was very foggy. And I don't know if that was just the day or it rolls in in the evening, but this morning it's much clearer, so we'll get to see both sides of it. So you're actually going in? I'm gonna go for it. It's 140 feet. Is my light on? No. Hit it again. There you go. Okay. Wish me luck. Good luck. Kate is going spelunking. Well, good luck. Don't get lost. It's a little spooky in here. Come on, you should join me. All right, let me go lock up the van. I can't believe I'm actually going to go into that thing with Kate. I'm not a big fan of caves or tight spots. You can actually stand up once you get in here. Pretty cool, huh? Very cool. I will say, it is kind of creepy. I don't like going into random... Dark holes? Dark holes. <laughs> so I'm going out. You are? I'm not... I... Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. If, it, if it's like a known cave and there are paths and things like that, and these are known to collapse, so I'm going out. Okay. See you. Bye. Are you are you going? I'm gonna venture a little further. Enjoy. Okay. For the most part, this cave is pretty easy to get through. Just this little opening right here. Otherwise, I can pretty much stand up the whole time. Here's the opening on the other side. I'm a little bummed Joe didn't come all the way. It was a really short hike out to this opening. You can see all the root system. Really cool experience. All right, better head back before Joe gets worried. And back at the opening. Ow. Ooh, hit my head there. Careful coming out of this thing. You survived. I did. I was hoping I wasn't gonna have to come in there and try to rescue you. It was really cool. What I found funny was on our drive up here, you're like, oh, there's a cave ahead. These types of caves are known to collapse. It was a cool experience. Well, I'm glad you did it. Thank you. I'm glad I did too. Good. Really fun. I would love to go swimming at the bottom of one of these waterfalls. I would too. Check out the Black Sand Beach. I am. Looked gorgeous from the other side. So what do you think? Feels awesome. It's less like sand and more like tiny little pebbles. Yeah. Feels really good. Don't get your pants wet. Oh, I haven't done it today. Okay. If you don't mind me, I'm just going to be over in my little corner. Couldn't have asked for a more beautiful spot to do my daily Chico and exercise. But I suppose we should forge on yeah. and continue to Hana. It is gorgeous here. 
There are a lot of Jeep Wranglers here. Yes, there are. I think that's the number one rental car of Maui or the Mustang. It's going to be interesting trying to get out of this place. All right, well, I'll go out and help direct traffic for you. I love it. I'll say it again. Yeah. Better you than me. <laughs> I'm very glad you're driving. Made it to Hana. It's beautiful here. It is gorgeous. That rock formation out there reminds me of Hopewell Rock. It does. There was so much to see. We probably could have taken a couple of days just to get here. Yeah. But you know what? It's a good thing you're not wearing your hat because your dome over here needs to get a little sun. Hey, I don't need that much sun. <laughs> I like the mud stripes. Yep. Good job. Thank you. Unintentional. And there's the bay. Where to? Uh, the National Park Campground. Okay. Let's do it. Next time, we go from sea level to 10,000 feet and watch the sunset from above the clouds. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and head over to our website, we'retherussos.com for more travel and van related content, among other things. So we will see you next time. Bye.